welcome back to my youtube channel so as you guys have seen by the title today i'm going to be doing a q and a i haven't done this in a really long time guys welcome to my youtube channel um my name is nantago <laughs> zumutao <laughs> for sending in so many questions i didn't think i was gonna get this many actually and if like you didn't get a chance to send in any questions please make sure that you follow my instagram so that the next time i do this you can you know participate and stuff like that and then yeah before we get into this video please make sure that you like comment and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so every time i post it just pops up and without further ado let's get straight into it so please like sit down and relax and get your snack and whatever because i think this is gonna be a long video so the first question is mental health bruh like now why are you first question was supposed to be like uh how school or whatnot <laughs> but you're getting straight into it ne? okay mental health um i say my mental health is pretty good most of the time i'm not gonna say it's good that's a lie it's okay um sometimes it goes down <laughs> no no but it's not funny at the end of the day is it it's serious sometimes it goes down but like i'm still alive right and that's all that matters so yeah just know her. you're going down then how many exes do i have i don't have any exes actually What's my body count? My body count is zero. Purely virgin. Prayers go straight to heaven. <laughs> I haven't slept with any woman before. I am purely virgin. Because of this, when I pray to God, it goes straight to God. Okay. And God answers me directly. It's not easy. I'm a purely virgin. What's the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done? I don't know, actually no actually you know what the most embarrassing thing i've ever done is ah niggas <laughs> um nah sorry guys i can't i can't tell you that and then have you ever been friends with someone then i don't understand the question have you ever been friends with someone then don't be friends because her another friend left her Okay, I'm, I'm thinking that you're trying to say like, have I been friends with somebody, then like stop being friends with her because another friend and her like separated. No, I don't think so. No, I don't remember anything like that happening with me. Like me doing it. Nah, I don't think so. What's my favorite childhood memory? I have no idea guys I feel like half of my childhood is gone out of my mind like I really can't remember so many things that people tell me happened in my childhood how old am I I'm 16 years old 2006 who's your favorite content creator my favorite content creator has to be Kanye Cakes like oh guys Kanye Cakes is the one like I really like her I like gosh, she's just yeah I really love her content I've been telling you something and I think it's the right time. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Are we gonna see a video from you with Jeff? Hopefully we do somewhere in the future, yeah? Hey, Lena. How would you say you're doing academically and which subs do you do? Okay, I took uh, life science, accounting and physics. And how am I doing academically, bruh? Hi, dog. You know, it's going down. Like, it's always going down. Anything that has to do with school, bro. Uh, but according to, like, my report, I'm doing pretty well. How do you snatch your waist, sis? You look good on a daily. Thank you so much. Secondly, um, I guess I just breathe in. That's the trick. Just suck in. <laughs> just suck in. When is the next vlog? Next vlog is probably gonna be somewhere in December, child. Because right now I'm staying at home and studying. We don't have time to go out anymore. How do you feel about being part of the school's president's council? 
next year i really feel good about it like yo i've been waiting for this since grade eight bro like i feel like it's really gonna be a good experience hopefully because i really um like the group that i have like the people that i'm you know a pr with yeah so i really think that it's gonna be a good experience and i'm excited for it because child it also means that i'm gonna be pushing out a lot of school content which it looks like you guys enjoy so yeah i'm really happy about it i've been telling you something and i think i should say it please dm me well no because i don't know who you are literally this is anonymous and then am i cuffed um comment down below and tell me what you think where am i from i'm actually from Pumalanga, and i think a lot of my subscribers don't know that because um a lot of my content or a lot of my vlogs i'm in pta but now nah, I'm actually from Pumalanga. Who's your worst enemy? My worst enemy is the devil. <laughs> um, no, but like, actually, I don't have any enemies. But, okay. When was it? The other week. I it's a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. Personally, I don't have any enemies except for that one. Am I judgmental? No, nah, I don't think I'm judgmental, bro. But I won't lie, I do have my moments, but for the most part, I try not to be judgmental. Who's my best friend? Um, I actually don't have a best friend, guys. Like, I don't have a best friend. It's just me. I last had a best friend, like, back in grade 7. But right now, it's just me. But doesn't mean I'm lonely, guys. I do have friends. I have people that I'm close to. Shout me out. But I don't know who you are. Do you even like school? Do you even like school? Does anyone even like school, bruh? No, I don't like school, bro. Like, school is the cause of most of my problems. But it's the cause of all of my problems, actually, now that I think of it. Are you in Cambridge? No, I wish. I wish I was in Cambridge. Next question is, the first part says, where did you get the inspiration to start your channel? So, you know how it happened. One day, I decided that I want to film myself. And then I posted it on YouTube. Do I regret it? Yes, because that was very embarrassing, guys. Like, it was so spontaneous. I don't know why I did that. I literally just stood up, I filmed, I edited it, and I dropped it on YouTube. I don't even know how old I was. And the guys, I was going through a phase. I don't know what was going on. But then, yeah, that's how it started. But before that, I was the girl who was always taking videos and stuff. Like, um, in primary school with my family, I was always the one who's here. So I think it also started from that and I'll take I'd make YouTube videos with my cousin Obushe who also has a YouTube channel now and she's doing pretty good. So yeah, make sure that you subscribe to her channel as well. How how do I do it and advice to somebody who wants to start a channel? How do I do it? Um I don't know how to answer that one. But like advice to somebody who wants to start a channel, bro, like just start the channel as long as you have good lighting and a phone that takes good videos that's really all you need because then the errors you can just download like editing apps you can just download all of that and yeah that's really all you need you don't have to be perfect in the beginning so yeah just start and see how it goes obviously the other stuff like be consistent you must always be willing to learn more about it and improve your skills in terms of editing and making thumbnails and all that stuff guys youtube is not as easy as it looks like there's a lot of struggles but then yeah don't be discouraged if you want to start a channel just start it i love your smile Kesana. thank you <laughs> not a question but god tells me that there are big things coming your way i receive thank you so much your love life bro what love life what love life that's my question like I, I don't have one that's yeah this question is irrelevant please do you speak any other language yes i do i speak um english africans uh zulu and swana yeah and then personally i believe that i speak spanish then, am i cuffed or single i think the previous question about my love life answered that no guys i'm like so so single what's the worst pickup line i've ever heard the worst pickup line that i've ever heard was like this one where 
this guy was actually making a video but i didn't know at the time i'll put it in the link in the description box or somewhere here which university would you like to go to well initially i wanted to go to uct just like everybody else but gay okay, uct doesn't offer the um thing that i want to study so i can't go there obviously but right now i'm thinking up or uwc or maybe even vets i'm not sure someone you liked in your school um i haven't liked anybody yet <sighs> yeah pretty much that's suspicious where do i buy my clothes because wow thank you um i buy my clothes from anywhere to be honest like um i like cotton on uh h&m h&m is my fave what's a quote that keeps you going when you feel like giving up i don't think there's a quote i don't know um but like what keeps me going is my future thinking about my future and the fact that it's gonna be worth it is what keeps me going if you had to leave the country right now what three things would you bring along i'd definitely bring along my phone because i can't leave you guys behind i have to make content and then i take like money and um um like people <laughs> Mind sharing about your journey of the passing of your dad? Um, but if you're not comfortable, it's okay, I understand. <clears throat> sure. Um, so after my dad passed away, I don't know, I don't know how to answer this question to be honest. Um, I think after my dad passed away, I became more to myself. And I think it started where like, um, like when he just passed away i wanted to be alone so that i can cry and deal with it and finish but my mom on the other hand wanted me to be with people and not think about it but i felt like that was useless because at the end of the day i'm going to go back to my room and be alone and cry about it you know what i mean so yeah um i think that's when i started wanting to be alone a lot until this day bro i want to be alone like i'm always in my room and yeah <laughs> i think that's one thing that changed in my journey or whatnot and i can say maybe that like i don't think i reached the stage or you know yeah where i can just talk about him without feeling pain or crying or whatnot because i always hear these people talking about him they'll be like yeah i know remember when you were thought remember when you were thought and for me it's still painful like if i don't cry it's probably because i'm around people but like deep down i want to cry i'm just acting you know what i mean but yeah it still really hurts yo like i feel his absence dog like it's been a year and a half dog name it's been a year and a half and um you know i know my mom tries to fill the void yeah but he's still not here and i feel his absence every day and there's not a day that i don't think about him bruh um there's nothing can do <laughs> i think that's what i oh you know how i deal with it dark humor that's the best thing ever like i'll show you guys a tiktok that i posted earlier today excuse me can you record me real quick mm -hmm. can you record me real quick mm -mm, get somebody else to do it <laughs> god have mercy upon us <laughs> i don't know how else to answer you must have direct questions man <laughs> i don't know how to answer this one no i don't play for both sides actually i'm like super super straight like <laughs> i have some can i never gain it when i'm with my friends no guys i don't mean it literally oh when there's parents watching <laughs> i don't mean it like yeah my friends know what i mean you guys know what i mean right and then yeah um but like for the most part no like for the full parts i'm like straight yeah then my biggest regret my biggest regret oh it's about a nigga hmm. but let me talk about my second biggest regret no that nah nah this is my first biggest regret it has to be like okay there's something in my mind 
and i feel like i'm going to do it eventually and you guys are gonna see it now but i feel like not going for it immediately is my biggest regret but at the same time i don't know how to do it i don't know how to do it but i will do it eventually i really want to do it now and hopefully you guys see it eventually school has been hectic i'm happy because i i can finally do story times like before this bro like i don't even know like once you guys are gonna request story times or whatnot dog i don't even know what you guys what i was gonna tell you guys because yo my life was dry but i have some stories nana to tell you guys but then yeah it's really nothing major i'm probably not even gonna tell these stories because it's just yeah then how do i go away so much and juggle school at the same time i don't go away that much i usually only go away on the holidays or if i'm going away it's like you know that first week of school or somewhere there we were not even doing that much so it doesn't really affect my school life who inspires me my future inspires me guys <sighs> literally if i ever want to give up i think about my future what or who motivates me and why um it has to be the people around me yeah i'm really surrounded by winners i won't lie and they really motivate me to keep working and keep pushing um you probably thought i was gonna say some celebrity but nah it's the people around me and i'm grateful for that how much do i rate my high school experience my high school experience i mean it's been pretty good except for like covid and stuff like that but maybe i can say a seven because it was good but there was also bad so i think a seven is pretty good <laughs> how do i manage my time when it comes to juggling youtube and my academics i don't think i do that well i don't think i manage my time correctly because i end up i end up just focusing on my academics more or whatever as you guys see because i'm not consistent and stuff like that so i don't think i can answer that question yet because i don't i literally don't i kind of neglect you guys <laughs> as kissing maraisha and where do i see myself in the next 10 years i'll probably still be studying and i don't know if i'll be doing i'll be working or i'll be doing my next um degree that and i think i'll be really building up my life continuing to build up my channel i think i'll be working with friends and all that good stuff or oh, whatever's going to be happening as in the next 10 years um yeah i think yeah i think it's gonna be good because bruh like uh, let me just focus on other things you get me we finally reached the end of this video guys this was long i've been talking thank you so so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoyed it please make sure that you leave a like comment and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so every time i post it just pops up keep growing and stay growing bye